everyone, welcome to my channel. This is where I talk about what I learn about cars. And today I want to talk to you about the W116 versus the W123. The W116 was Mercedes S Class car from 1972 to 1980. For the design of the 123, Mercedes selected a scaled down and lighter looking derivative of the 116 S Class design. Both cars were made to look longer and lower by horizontal lines running along their flanks. The 123 has softer edges, which gives it a more modern feel. For the 123 series, Mercedes chose wraparound front lights, which were also on the 116 cars, which made the turn signals more visible. On both cars, the lenses of both front turn signals and rear light units had the same rib design as on the 116 S-Class. This prevented the entire lens from becoming obscured by dirt. The 123s could not be made to look too much like the more expensive S-Class cars, for fear of upsetting the owners of these top model Mercedes. Both the W116 and the W123 have three circular instruments. They are beautiful and clear. Like the 116, the 123 had a strong passenger cabin combined with weaker front and rear crumble zones. The inside of the 116 is leather. The rear window on the W116 has a more dome-like shape, which in my opinion looks more luxurious. Both are beautiful cars. There are subtle differences, but clear enough to make a distinction. The handles on the 116 are all chrome, while the W123 is partly plastic. The rubbing strip on the 123s was mounted much higher than its equivalent on the 116 and was matched by a discreet styling crease at bumper height. Where the grille of the S-Class had plastic veins in a cheese cutter design, the 123 had simpler horizontal slats. The 123s all had single bumpers, while the 116s had a distinctive two-tier design. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun making this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which is your favorite classic Mercedes in the comments below. Like and subscribe. I try to post weekly. I'll see you in my next video.